I'm really excited guys to let you know that I'm now sponsored by Boss Boxes. Uh, it's a great site. You guys can go ahead and get all your gamer needs. All you have to do is go to the website, pick what you want, go ahead and add it to your cart. And once you get to your cart guys, when you get to checkout, you can play with Apple Pay, PayPal. Go ahead and check out and throw that discount code in there. Go ahead and throw in Rye Bread and you guys will get 10% off your purchase. It's really great. It's a really awesome site. Really guys, it got some really cool stuff, so I really recommend you guys go ahead and check that out. Uh, I'm really happy to be sponsored by them, and I hope you guys enjoy their stuff. How's it going everybody? Rybred here today, and we are back with our Nashville Predators franchise mode, and we are in the Western Conference Finals against the Arizona Coyotes. Out east, it's the Buffalo Sabres versus the Columbus Blue Jackets, but I can't be looking out east, because we got to be focused on the Arizona Coyotes. Uh, they're in the Western Conference Finals. Their record certainly doesn't suggest that they should be here with only 42 wins. They're not a bad team, but they're certainly not the best team we've faced in these playoffs. I am not overlooking anybody, though. It's a simulation, uh, EA simulation. You have no clue how it's going to go. It's a coin toss every game. So let's see if we can get past the Arizona Coyotes and finally make it to the Stanley Cup Finals. This is back-to-back -back Western Conference Finals appearances. we got to get over this hurdle sometime, but let's see what our opponents have to offer us. Uh, now, if you guys remember in the last one, uh, we, kept, we kept up our pretty hot play. We've been pretty good lately. Uh, but, you know, anything, it, it can change on a dime. You face a team that's even hotter, then all of a sudden your team cools off. But here we go. Here's what we're rocking. We got Forsberg, Johansson, Neal, Turris, Arvidsson, Fiala, Pajot, Raquel, Smith, which has been a good line. Our bottom six has actually been, I would say, they've outperformed our top six. So I'd like to see our top six... Uh, do a little bit better than they have been. And then, obviously, defensively, we've got y Yossi and Subban, then Ellis Shabbat, and then Ekholm Cece. And in net, we have the Vesna Trophy candidate, John Gibson. He already won it, I think, in year number one he won it. He's been close these past couple of years, but let's go ahead and see what the Arizona Coyotes will be throwing at us to try and derail our Stanley Cup chances. So they got Max Domi up. Uh, Dylan Strom grew really well. He's up to a 91 at 23. Good God. And they got Clayton Keller. So three playmakers on that top line. Uh, not bad, considering that, Jesus, Strom can shoot the puck. That's not bad at all for them. Uh, Perlini, Merkley, and Duclair. So that's a pretty good second line. Duclair's is 87. He's still listed as a second line forward, so that's fine. But then Merkley and Perlini. I'd rather have these guys, yeah, on my third line, if anything. But they seem to be good young players, especially Merkley. He's 22. He's already 84. That's going to be great. And then they got the... The big sniper, uh, Perlini there, he's 6'2", 216 as a sniper. He's 24, so he's pretty much locked himself into that middle six role, but he could still grow. Uh, Nieto, uh, McInnes, and Kroos. Okay, so Kroos is only 22, and he's 84 as well. they got a lot of medium top six forwards on this team. Uh, he's a power forward, and then we've got McInnes, a two-way forward, and Nieto, also a two-way forward. Then their fourth line, which is going to be going up against our stars, our fourth line, because apparently your first line doesn't score. It's only your fourth line. Uh, Christian Dvorak, Laurent Dauphin, and Jamie McGinn. So a 2A, 2A, and a sniper. Relatively young, except for Jamie McGinn. So what do they have on defense? They have Ekman Larson. Obviously, OEL is great. He's something you got to look out for. But we got two of him with Yossi and Subban, but he puts up a lot of points. So I'm, 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 I'm intimidated by him. Uh, and then Anthony D'Angelo. So they got two offensive defensemen on that first line. That's going to be, that's probably why they are as far as they are. They probably score a crap load of goals. Uh, Connor Murphy, a defensive defenseman, and Schuster, a defensive defenseman. So these guys must make up for everything that these guys don't. So the, these offensive defensemen only score the puck, and when they need shut down, they roll out this line. Uh, and then they got, okay, they got Goligoski and McQuaid. So not a bad third pairing. Veterans, an offensive defenseman, and a defensive defenseman. So they've got a little bit of everything here. They got a full, they could do offensive defensive for each pairing, but I can understand why you'd want to play D'Angelo over a guy like Murphy because he can still grow. And then in net, what do they have? They have. Wait, they have Anders Nielsen, and they made it? He's got a 932 save percentage and a 193 goal against average? Are you kidding me? Wow, he's playing really well. He's an 83 overall only, but he's playing about as good as John Gibson is. A little bit worse, but still, that's that's pretty. those stats are pretty close so far in the playoffs. Hopefully, we'll be able to get to him. He seems to be playing well, but uh, hopefully our offense, which has been clicking, and especially our defense, which has been shutting down opponents, hopefully they continue here. Oh, but man, there's only one team standing in our way in our date with the Stanley Cup Finals, and it's the Arizona Coyotes. Can we top them? Let's go ahead and get into this first game, boys. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm nervous, though. The simulation code, whatever way it feels like, 
And on this day, I'm hoping it's going to go our way. Let's see. Can we get off to a strong start? We need to rock them. We need to shake them early. Let's see. First period. All right. It's nothing, nothing. And the shots are in Arizona's favor, but only by one. Can we come out and net the first one in the second period? And we do. Philip Forsberg scores the only goal in the second period there. But Arizona's on the power play. They got a chance to tie it up, but they failed to capitalize on that beautiful opportunity. As we get five minutes into the period, we're still up one. I'd love an insurance marker. And P.K. Subban, as I say, I want an insurance marker. He steps up and shows OEL why he's the better defender. All right, we got about five and a half minutes left in the period. We're still up by two, but Arizona, they got offense. They got players. And Shabbat nets the empty netter. And Nashville's going to take game one of the series at home, 3 nothing. A great game from John Gibson as he stopped all 20 pucks. So not a lot of shots by the Arizona Coyotes. Uh, 28 for the Predators, so we didn't do too poorly on shots, but I've seen a lot higher shot totals in the playoffs. So it was a little, seems to be a back and forth defensive game, but we do get out of that one with a 3 nothing win. So there we go. All right, let's go ahead and edit a scouting assignment here. Uh, all right, let's go scout our defenseman in the National League, the Swiss National League, um, for a week. All right, game number two, can we take a commanding 2-0 lead? on the Arizona Coyotes, or are we going to let them tie up the series heading to home ice? Let's see what happens. We need another strong... We need a stronger start than last game. I know we still sc scored three goals, but we didn't get one until the second period. Thankfully, our defense and goaltending held up, but we need to get off to a quick, fast offensive start. Will it happen? It... Okay, so Merkley opens the scoring, but then CC and Sissons, bottom pairing guys. So Sissons on that fourth line and CC on that third pairing line. Gets Nashville the lead as we head into the second period. So Merkley, like I said, opened the scoring, but we fire back with two of our own and take the lead as we head into the second period. All right, and Pajot on that third line. Man, our bottom six has really stepped up. I don't know where the the, the top six has really been, uh, but I really... Oh, Clayton Keller, early on in this third period, pulls Arizona back to within one. Come on, defense. Come on, Gibson. I need you to, to, to go back to your Vesna trophy form and just shut them down. Every shot is just, 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 please just lock down, lock it down down there uh, in the defensively. I wouldn't mind not the uh, insurance marker two minutes, one minute. And we're not going to get the insurance marker, but we do get out of game number two, three to two. I was really nervous. I could barely talk there. I, <laughs> I was really hoping we didn't give up a goal there, but man, that, those two goals in that first period certainly helped. And Shabbat was the only minus player in game number two. And we are up 2-0 on the Arizona Coyotes as we head down to Arizona, or over to Arizona, I guess. Because we're basically in the eastern United States, and we have to head over to... Never mind, it doesn't matter. Uh, all right. <laughs> Said every Nashville fan ever, they complain about the, the conference seating. Anyway, let's go ahead and see. Can we take a 3-0 lead, or will Arizona get their first win of the Western Conference Finals. Come on, boys. We could certainly... We could, we're could. we basically punching ourselves a ticket to the, to the Stanley Cup Finals if we win this game. Come on, boys. I need another strong offensive period. And Philip Forsberg. Yes, we get outshot by one. But Philip Forsberg nets the only goal of the period. And Nashville is up 1-0 on Arizona heading into the second period. Oh, but the Arizona Coyotes in front of their home fans strike back with two goals. Clayton Keller and Laurent Dauphin. It's 2-1 to one Arizona. Come on, Nashville. I know you got the offense to come back in this game. Tie it up, and Thomas Shabbat goes ahead and ties up the game. But Arizona gets a chance to take the lead, but they cannot capitalize on the power plays. We hit the halfway mark of the third period. Still 2-2. Two two. Shots are about even. It's a back-and-forth game, boys. Five minutes left in the period. The next goal might make the difference. And it's Victor Arvidsson just before. And Joe Hansen nets the empty netter. And, boys, a strong third period where we score three goals. We win game number three, four to two, and we are now up 3-0 in the series. This is a commanding lead. We just, we have four chances to get one win. All we need is one more win, boys, and we have solidified ourselves a spot in the Stanley Cup Finals. Come on, boys. I knew you need to go and have that, have that juggernaut mentality. Just go take it. We are the super team of the NHL. Let's go out there and prove it in in the first period of game number four and okay Perlini scores on that second line but not to be outdone by Victor Arvidsson as we have 16 shots to their six so Anders Nielsen is holding up strong 
How much longer can he hold up in the second period? And Kyle Turris nets one as we now have about 30 shots through two periods. Anders Nielsen doesn't seem like he can hold up against the barrage, and we got our Vesna Trophy candidate, John Gibson, back there in net. But we're only up by one. A little insurance would help, especially with Arizona on the power play, but they aren't able to capitalize on the power play. Oh, come on, John Gibson. You've been fantastic all series. Come on, can we complete this? Oh, I'm not going to say it. Five, uh, we got about five minutes left. Come on, Gibson. You got four minutes to go. Three minutes. Shut the door, boys. Two minutes. One minute. And we have swept the Arizona Coyotes and are on our way to the Stanley Cup Finals for the first time under GM Rybred. Oh, my God, guys. I am super excited about this. Oh, my God. All right. So a 2-1 neck-and-neck victory in game number four, but man, we won, We swept the series, and look at out east. Well, I, it's weird to say out east. Over in the east, it's 3 nothing for the Blue Jackets. Are they, are they going to sweep the Buffalo Sabres? And no, the Buffalo Sabres strike back and make it 3-1. Can they come back from the impossible? A 3-0 deficit? Oh, I thought that was the end of the round. Obviously not. Let's go ahead and scout some goalies out in the WHL. All right, uh... This is a huge game. Will we be facing the Columbus Blue Jackets or will the Buffalo Sabres do us a favor and prolong the series? And they do. The Sabres do end up beating the Blue Jackets, forcing a game six. Wow, Columbus is up 3-2. They were up 3-0. Can Buffalo force a game number seven? Is it going to happen, boys? And it does. Buffalo has come back and tied up the series after being in a 3 Oh, deficit. Oh, my God. And this game, boys, the second I push A, we'll figure out who we face in the Stanley Cup Finals. Who's it going to be? The end, the current round of the playoffs? The conference finals are over? Who's it going to be? Can, will Buffalo pull off the impossible and have the hot streak heading into the Stanley Cup Finals? Or will it be the Columbus Blue Jackets? Ah, uh, uh, just barely surviving the onslaught of the Buffalo Sabres. Let's go ahead and find out. And it is the Buffalo Sabres. They come back from a 3-0 series deficit. We swept the Arizona Coyotes and the Columbus Blue Jackets had visions and the national media had visions of each team sweeping their way through the conference finals to the Stanley Cup playoffs. But the Buffalo Sabres and Jack Eichel said no way. And went ahead and came back and won in seven. All right. So our path to the Stanley Cup looks like a 4-1 win over the San Jose Sharks, a 4-1 win over the St. Louis Blues, and a 4-0 win over the Arizona Coyotes. Buffalo went to seven against Pittsburgh, went to seven against Toronto, and went to seven against Columbus. They are resilient buggers over there in the east but now they face the nashville predators will we be able to oh my god i cannot whew, i'm really excited for the second for the stanley cup finals boys but that one's gonna have to wait until next video make sure to subscribe to the channel so you get notified when i post it thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the stanley cup finals boys